again, it's a pleasure to welcome you. Thank you for having me. Fantastic conference. You work with one of the best known and the biggest brands uh, that keeps trending every time, and that's Twitter. So it's good to learn uh, from uh, the consumer's perspective, the science and the physics behind Twitter. Yeah, it's, um, I think it's something that's largely overlooked in technology. We just take it for granted. It's kind of the magic that happens. Um, but in reality, it's actually all physics-based. Um, so whether data is being transformed to light and circling around the world in order to go from one person's phone to somebody else's timeline, um, the physics behind data is actually fascinating. And as data continues to exponentially grow, um, how we manage that in a very efficient manner and cost-effective manner is going to continue to be really important. Yeah. So there are billions of tweets every day. Uh, rise right from the president of the U.S. to all the global leaders, and actually he's become your biggest brand ambassador lately. Um, so the the question that uh, I'm trying to ask is, if you can share this with us an anecdote of how you know there's billions and trillions of bytes that go in every day and make it so simple for us. It's, you know, it's for us it's 140 characters, you know, one click and it's out there. But it's good to understand from your perspective, you know, what goes on behind it, a little yeah. deeper. Yeah, so it's interesting because you're right, the simplicity of the idea just being 140 characters, but what that's able to do on our platform, um, whether it's creating a conversation or a dialogue around a current event or um, beginning a revolution and allowing people to really feel empowered about the message that they're bringing, um, it's, it's phenomenal to um, work at a company that is providing that service um, globally and allowing people to have that discussion um, and seeing all the perspectives and all of the opinions um, kind of coalesce and then the strength of the ones that rise um, as a result of the sentiment is it's just a phenomenal place to look at data and really understand that. Uh, let's talk about women empowerment in tech and we are at the conference about women in STEM. Uh, where do you see the progress because you work like I said on the biggest companies around uh, are there a more open culture for women to you know, go up the ladder or are there more restrictions like other companies? How do you feel about it? Um, so actually as the global head of Twitter Women, um, it's really amazing to have such a strong ERG. Um, the company absolutely embraces gender equality. Um, we have regular events. Um, we embrace, you know, we have an amazing ERG culture. Um, we, you know, LGBTQIA, um, Blackbirds, we just really have this culture of talking about all of the difficult things the same way that our platform empowers people to talk about all of the difficult things. Um, so we have that support all the way into the boardroom. Um, they've actually done a phenomenal job of making us diverse from the boardroom all the way down to, you know, the line engineers and um, seeing that commitment to gender equality and equality in general has just been phenomenal at Twitter. How do you encourage young girls, because they're known more on Snapchat and other things, so once they come to the college level then they adopt Twitter and etc. But this is an exciting tool to attract and, and get their interest in STEM. Yeah, I think um, you know we have a lot of programs where we partner with people, whether it's um, girls who code or um, tech women. We've actually just found that our platform provides a voice and then that voice allows people to resonate. So we actually find women in technology having their own independent conversations about empowering gender equality in technology and how that's going to be the leading field for it, right? So those jobs, those opportunities are going to financially empower people, are going to technically empower people. And so it's just really exciting to be a part of that conversation. Right. It's wonderful to have you. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you very it. much.